Fantastic. Can you see me? All good. All right. So this morning, welcome, everybody. I want to tell you a real life story. And the story is about a granny. Her name is Valentina. And her in, in Argentina, where she lives, uh, we call her Granny Abuela. So she was Abuela Valentina. And she lived in a very big house with lots of children, her children, her grandchildren, her husband, and especially her parrot called Pepe. Now, I'm not sure how to do this. Can I share my screen here and show you what Pepe looks like? Let's see if we can do this. Um, here we go. I've got Pepe on my screen. Can you see Pepe on your screen? No. Okay, I'm not going to fight with technology, guys, but Pepe was a great big uh, blue and yellow uh, macaw from the Amazon forest. And Pepe was a wonderful bird. And Granny Valentina loved this bird very much. And this bird went everywhere with her, except one Sabbath morning. She didn't even know it was Sabbath. And they went, she went off to town to buy stuff for lunch and as she was walking towards the butchery and the bakery she heard something really odd on a saturday morning she heard singing and i'm sure you all know the song i wrote the words down it goes holy 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 lord god almighty and i lift my hands before you and she put her head around the corner and looked into the the church and before she knew it, she was welcomed in and she was sitting right in the front row and everybody asked her for her name and she'd never felt so welcome in her life. I hope we all welcome people to our church like that. And she grew to know Jesus because every single Sabbath on her way to do her shopping, she stopped off at church. And soon Jesus was her best friend. And soon she got baptized. And soon every Sabbath morning, she would go to town, but not for shopping. She would go to town to church. And her heart was so full of the love of Jesus. She wanted to tell everybody. She wanted to tell her husband and her children and her grandchildren and her neighbors. There was Maria and Catalina and Nicholas and Pedro and Thomas. And then, of course, there was Carlos. And Carlos was the laziest guy that Abuela Valentina had ever, ever met. He worked in the factory with Grandpa. And he was really lazy. And he was a mean guy as well. And she tried to tell him about Jesus. And his words were, nah, I'm not interested in that Jesus stuff. And so every night, Abuela Valentina would have worship by herself out on the veranda. She would sit there with Pepe, and she would read the Bible to Pepe, and she would sing to Pepe. And you know what? Very soon, Pepe learned all the words to holy, 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 holy. And he could also say a lot of other things that he'd learned while Abuela Valentino was reading the Bible. Well, one day, Granddad got very, very grumpy with Carlos for being so lazy and he moaned at him and Carlos was angry and he was on his way home. And you know what he saw? He saw Pepe and he saw Pepe in this big cage and he thought, I'll teach them. I'll show them a lesson. And he opened Pepe's cage. Now, although Pepe loved his home and loved Abuela, he also thought, look at that big blue sky. And in a minute, he spread his big wings and he was flying. Abuela was getting ready for bed and she knew nothing about this. But then all the strange things started to happen. Maria, her next door neighbor, the very mean lady that gossiped all the time, was about to pull her curtains closed for the night when she heard the singing, holy, holy, right outside her window. The next thing she heard was somebody saying, repent, sinner, Jesus is coming. And she ripped her curtains open and all she heard was the sound of wings and she could see nobody. She went, oh, it's got to be an angel. Sure, just down the road, the guy, Nicholas, the butcher, who was also a big cheat, was counting all the extra money he'd made. And as he counted his money, he heard the singing, holy, 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 holy. 
And the next word he, words he heard were, repent, sinner, Jesus is coming. And he ran outside to see, and all he heard was wings. He was, yo, he got just like, he was so worried. Maybe an angel had visited him. Well, this happened all over town that day. Well, should I say night? And the next morning when Oella woke up and got up and went to open her door, all she saw was all her neighbors with very worried faces. Oella, you have to tell us quickly. Jesus is coming. We've got to repent. An angel came to us. And there in the distance, she saw somebody flying towards her for breakfast. And it was Peppy. And then she knew what was what had happened. You see, sometimes Jesus helps us to witness to other people around us. Well, I can tell you one thing, that there were a lot more people in church that Sabbath with a whaler. Have a happy Sabbath. Bye-bye.